Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jung Lo, the owner of a Dragon House. Right next to me, I have Aguado Perez. It will be featuring our upcoming event, Dragon House 30, Big Stack Heart. Dragon House promotion, 10 year anniversary. We'll be celebrating at the Dragon House 30 and the upcoming event, November 10, at the heart of San Francisco, Keys Art Pavilion. Now, Aguado, good to have you on board. See you, sir. Good to um, Look at this guy, look like a basketball player, you know, like Ready. six foot five. He will be fighting um, for the heavyweight division. Uh, actually, our heavyweight champion, Junior Lugo, um, is due to injury, so can we defend his title uh, for the last one or two events? So we are designing to have an interim title fight. Hopefully, the champ can heal up defend his title, but as right now, we're gonna have Eduardo Perez uh, fighting for the interim title bout. Now, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there, who you are and where are you coming from and what got you into fighting in martial arts? So everybody, I'm back. I'm sure some of you guys know me from my last two dry houses ago. Yes. I was in the car, made my pro debut with Zong. So uh, I'm from the Bay Area, born and raised in Berkeley. Uh, I trained in San Jose. Um, so basically what got me into fighting was I've always liked, you know, the martial arts of it and, you know, we were low income so I wasn't able to really start training until I was about in, uh, about 15, 14. That's when I got into uh, Jiu Jitsu and kickboxing and because uh, at the time uh, MMA wasn't allowed for underage mm -hmm. people so I just had to, you know, do grappling tournaments and, you know, exhibition bouts. But once I turned out 18, I started getting into, uh, you know, uh, pancreation, that type of stuff. You know, slowly climb my way up to MMA, and once uh, I was done with college, I started doing a uh, cage fighting, and ever since then, I just you know uh, went through my amateur, you know, pay my dues like everybody does, and made my, made my pro debut was on last uh, last year in November, and I'm back again. So hopefully, this opponent doesn't back out and doesn't you know make up some excuse that he's injured, because I know some of you guys like to do that, pick and choose your <laughs> fighters. You know, I've never chosen to pick my fighters. Whoever they are, they, they throw at me, I've always, you know, stepped up, never turned down a fight. So hopefully this guy doesn't, you know, back down either. Now, heavyweight is extremely entertaining for people to watch because right. it's a big boy special and everyone can get sleep just for one clip for the heavyweight business. That's right. So it's also not too many heavyweights in the Bay Area. So even though, like, I know I've been talking to you last couple of events, trying to get you on the card, it's just not a whole lot of heavyweight around. And then obviously your upcoming rising star, you are undefeated on your amateur record and have also undefeated on the pro record. So now let's talk a little bit about your upcoming opponent. What do you know about your upcoming opponent? Uh, well, I'll try to look him up. I didn't see a whole lot of uh, his fights. I just know he's a Muay Thai guy. And you know what, I'm a striker too. So we're gonna, we're gonna bang it out. And honestly, I don't think he's at my level. I don't see him passing the first round, just like my other opponent. And you know, if he wants to test it, we're going we're gonna to test it. And uh, it's going to be a great show. I know people are going to go crazy. It's going to be some great action. So I'm looking forward to this. What's your opponent's name? Uh, his name is, uh, I forgot, it's like Von something. I know he's from South Africa. I know he trains uh, a gym out here in a um, pretty good gym. So, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't phase me. I'm, I'm, it's my time. It's, you know, he's going to get put to sleep. I know it. I feel it. I doubt he's going to pass the first round. Sure. Now, you're fighting uh, Van, Van Pauly, I think. Van Pauly, there you go. Van Pauly. So, he, he it's not too many heavyweight it's as, as tall as you, six foot five. And I also know he's almost about the same height as you, yeah. around six foot five. So, I can see this fight is pretty much too tall, big, giant heavyweight. It's going to go slugfest. That's right. And Sue has a better head kick or punch. It's going to go down. Let me ask you, do you think this fight will ever touch the ground? Um, you know what? I'm not sure if it will, but again, this is MMA. I train uh, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. You guys haven't seen my grappling because I've never had to use it. Mm -hmm. But don't sleep on it, man. I, I can, I can, I can tap you out. So if he wants to take it to the ground, we'll go there. We'll keep it standing. We'll keep it standing. You know, it's, it's MMA. So we'll, where, wherever the fight goes, I feel confident. I know Vaughn is pretty much more like a striker, Muay Thai fighter. Um, it, this will be truly a treat for all the MMA fight fans out there. Sure. Two giant person can buy more than 500 pounds. It's going to be in the cage. It's going to be a slugfest, high kick, you spinning back kick, you know, axe kick, whatever you call it. And I know you got some hands sure. watching your last fight. Those one, two straight to the pipe. It's phenomenal. And it also, almost every am amateur fight you have, guys, they're always trying to take you down. Yeah, like I said, man. 
I've never backed out from a fight. Most of my guys were uh, wrestlers. So, the, you know, the, a lot of the uh, promoters are different. Uh, you know, they're, the coach is thinking that, you know, because I wasn't really known like that. So they were like, all right, you know, this guy, we'll, we'll beat him. But, man, I've been I trained in uh, wrestling. So they weren't, take me, weren't able to take me down. It was over from there. They couldn't stand with me. And that's what happened. You see all my fights, they end up with a KO, TKO. They just can't hang with me. And I see that happening, too, November 10th. This is going to be an awesome, epic matchup. Two yeah. world-class striker got the perfect physique as a heavyweight going out in November 10th. So now, um, if your opponent watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Um, just please, damn near begging you, make it to the fight. Hope you, you don't get injured. And yeah, just sign the contract if you haven't signed it yet. Just make it to the fight and put on a show for these people. Show them what's up. All right, it's gonna be, so your prediction is gonna be the first round. First round, TKO, KO. Wow, this yeah. is gonna be awesome. All the MMA Five fans out there, don't miss it out. Dragon House 30, huge stack card. It's our 10-year anniversary for the promotion. Put up a nice stack card for you guys. Gonna be a tons of other Title Five different weight class on the card too. Now, if people wanna get a hold of you to watching you fight, how can people get tickets to watching you? Um, yeah, you guys can follow me on my Instagram at the, the Mexican Boogie Man. That's my fighting name. Most of you guys that follow me know what's up. Um, on Facebook, at Water Perez. Uh, yeah, I'll be putting up all the info right after this. That you guys hit me up for uh, tickets. I have a lot of my uh, family and friends have been wanting to come to my fights, and now's the chance. Uh, yeah, just hit me up for details. I got you guys. Let's do this. So now, how do you get the nickname as the Boogeyman? What, what got oh, you man, into that story? Again? So at my old gym that I used to train at, um, one of our uh, teammates, I don't remember exactly what part of the Middle East he was from. He uh, he mentioned how in his language. Lala is very close to uh, um, their uh, their boogeyman. It's oh. Like it was like La something, but we, we have similar letters, similar sounding letters. And he was like, "You should use that as your uh, fighting name." And that just kind of <laughs> stuck with everybody at the gym. So I called me the boogeyman. And when I made my uh, amateur debut, they were like, "What's your nickname? What's your fighting name?" And I ran with it, and it's it's been ever since. So it fits you, right? And it's it kind of glue on you. Yeah. So. I thought you say I look like a boogeyman. That's it. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so now, any special people or sponsor yeah, yeah. you want to shout out to? Yeah, for sure. I'll make a shout out to all my coaches. Coach Hector, he's been working with me since day one when I moved to the other gym. He, he's believed in me. All my teammates at uh, AKA, you know, my wrestling partners, striking partners, uh, Kane, DC, everybody that's out there helping me out. I really appreciate that. Um, I want to give a shout out to one of my sponsors, uh, CPM, uh, Castro Property Management. You know, one of my first sponsors to be with me. Also, uh, Fruit Juice, he's, uh, he's going to sponsor me. So shout out to you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for giving me a chance and you know, believing in me. And I'll show you guys why you guys made a good decision, you know, on uh, sponsoring me. And also any other uh, local, uh, you know, uh, businesses that want to sponsor me, you guys won't be, you know, disappointed with the results. I'll put on a good show and you guys will be happy with the results. Now, one more time, what's your IG address? So my IG is uh, the at the MX Boogeyman. That's it. I'll show up at Water Perez. You'll see. You, you'll see my uh, my fights and my uh, you know the my, boogie bo the, boogeyman face right there. Boogeyman, yeah, you'll see me there. So let's do it. <laughs> and uh, what's your Facebook again? Just your um, name, Eduardo Perez. So you can find me on Facebook too if you need you know, ticket info, business info. Just hit me up. Sounds awesome. Now, for more information about this upcoming big stack card, Dragon House Thirty, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This event will be live stream pay per view nationwide. So anyone want to order your live stream pay per view voucher? Check out DragonHouseMMA.com and please subscribe our YouTube channel. Give us a little bit of love and support. We put up another epic event for you guys on November 10th at the heart of San Francisco, Keys or Pavilion. You will not disappoint at this upcoming fight card. More than five different title fights and huge stack card, over 20 fights on the card. We'll look forward to putting up another show. Um, one last word. Any five fans, any friends you want to say it to? Um, I have so many out there, man. Just again, thanks to all my training partners, my coaches. Everybody that believed in me and let's you know, come out support November 10th. See a, come see a great show. Awesome. One last question. What do you walk around weight right now? Man, I pretty much walk on weight. Uh, I walk around 260, 265, give or take five pounds. So you don't have to cut weight? No, I just get, no, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, man. I've been training since my last fight. It's just, I can't get a, I can't get a fight, so I'm ready. Let's do this. This will be an intern heavyweight title right. belt fight for the Dragon House promotion. The oldest promotion in the Bay Area, 
Don't miss it out, guys. We'll look forward to seeing you guys November 10th. Good to have you on board. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Peace.